latest on September 30th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Two hurricane strength systems are active around the world today, Lorenzo in the Atlantic and Mitag Typhoon in the Western Pacific. Tropical storm Nada made landfall earlier today as well, it's now weakened to a depression. Day 273 of the year, September 30th, day 121 in the Atlantic hurricane season, Lorenzo the only thing going on, a major hurricane in the open central Atlantic. In the eastern Pacific, tropical depression Nada moved inland over Mexico. It's going to continue to hug the coast on day 138 of the season there. In the western Pacific, Typhoon Mitag is just off the coast of Taiwan to the southeast. Typhoon conditions possible there in the next day or two. No systems are active in the southern hemisphere at this time. It's all quiet here. So the main feature again is Hurricane Lorenzo, we're giving it winds of 115 miles per hour, pressure of 950 millibars, National Hurricane Center acknowledging that could have been a little bit generous at the last update, however its satellite appearance has improved recently. It's 1111 miles from Flores, Portugal, the Azores, 27.1 north, 43.8 degrees west. Over the next few days, we expect the storm to at least be slowly moving for the first 12 to 24 hours and then accelerate over the middle of the week. Could still strike the westernmost Azores as a Category 2 hurricane with winds of 100 miles per hour or higher before turning post tropical way up towards the northeastern part of the Atlantic Ocean. Typhoon Mitag has a winds of 80 miles per hour, pressure of 980 millibars. It's currently around 100 miles from Orchid Island which is just off Taiwan just a little bit further from the main island itself 21.7 north 122.9 degrees east is its position over the next few days we expect this storm to pass very close to Taipei as a category 1 typhoon remain at or near this intensity as it uh, really passes very close to China as well and then eventually make landfall in South Korea probably a little bit weaker tropical storm status and then eventually turning post tropical by the time we get to next weekend as it reaches northern Japan here's the uh, late visible imagery of uh, Hurricane Lorenzo um, still fairly large a large wind field it's had uh, more than one eyewall replacement cycle since its peak last night. Wind shear is uh, fairly decent, although it is going to start to rise a little bit more again, looking at this graphic at least, uh, by the time we get to tomorrow morning. I think it could intensify a little bit overnight though. Here is the wide shot of the Atlantic the last few hours. The storm has clearly been moving with an easterly component in its forecast, in its uh, observed track now. Elsewhere in the Atlantic, it's all quiet really, not too much going on. A few flare-ups near Hispaniola, but not Thing that we can really tag as a potential development. Gulf of Mexico looking like this, fairly quiet, a few thunderstorms blowing up along the Texas-Mexico border. The East Pacific looks like this, you can quite clearly see the very broad tropical depression Nada, still with some significant convection along the coast, um, and it has had a lot of that convection over the last few days, mainly off the coast, but if it does move overland all of that rainfall and we could be looking at potential flash flooding problems if we haven't seen them already out in the open ocean not much going on the western pacific again the open region of the ocean there very quiet however where the typhoon is you just about see it lurking on the left hand side there typhoon mitag taking up a lot of the western part of the ocean just about reaching taiwan now with that band and the southern extension of the band moving over, still over, the northern Philippine Islands as well. Signal 1 warnings in effect. The Australia and South Pacific region only has one frame to offer us tonight. You can see some thunderstorms blowing up there over the Solomon Islands and over parts of Vanuatu. The Indian Ocean, the same. Uh, things looking fairly quiet here. A little disturbance along the western tip of India and also further east as well inland a lot of thunderstorms brewing nothing really of a tropical cyclone nature sea surface temperatures looking like this around 30 degrees Celsius where Nada is if it moves back over the Gulf of California decent chance that it will regain tropical storm status the Western Gulf is the warmest part of the Gulf and the Western Caribbean the warmest part of that area as well the Atlantic looking fairly okay however where Lorenzo's been there has been some significant upwelling so it, it, I don't really don't think it's going to intensify very much more now uh, for its potential third peak which we might see pretty soon. Indian Ocean looking like that there as well around 30 degrees Celsius just about 29 
quite widespread. And the Western Pacific, the Philippine Sea, fairly warm. Not quite as warm as it was, but still looking 28 plus, which is fairly uh, more than enough for tropical cyclone development. West Pacific's had the handbrake on all year so far by the looks of things. Mitag has also been struggling. Even though early models suggested that it could have intensified quite a lot, it hasn't really so far. And at the moment, trajectory still taking it towards Taiwan. Can't rule out a landfall there. And this is what Hurricane Lorenzo is looking like. Too big to fit the picture now. It is continuing to expand and will do so as it moves through the Azores. That's why it's such a dangerous storm with wind field, with a wind field of over 400 miles in diameter. It could strike the Azores still with winds of 100 miles per hour. It's a CDPS stage six. So here we are right now. The next name on the Atlantic list is Melissa. In the Eastern Pacific, we're now looking for Octave. In the Central Pacific, the next name on the list is Ima. In the Western Pacific, we've of course had Mitag, and the next name is Hagabis. And in the North Indian Ocean, the next name on the state is Kiyar. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text, and subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well. It's Force 13 on there too. And you can contact us on any of these mediums. That's all for now. We'll have another update, Tropical Weather Bulletin, tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.